Can you talk a little bit about the, the banter that goes on between these brothers? Because it really does add another element uh, and a lot of humor uh, to, to the sequences you guys showed today. Yeah, well, you know, one of the things that we always love doing in the Uncharted games is to uh, have banter between uh, Drake and the NPCs that he's exploring the world with. You know, it makes it come alive, makes allows us to sort of, like, explore their characters a little bit more besides just in the uh, non-interactive uh, cinematics, right? Uh, but the interesting thing about this is, like, you know, most of the time you've been seeing Drake with, like, his friends or, you know, Elena, his, uh, his girlfriend, then wife, uh, and Sullivan, his mentor, but now we're actually seeing uh, his brother. So because the brother is a brand new character and because he has kind of a mysterious past that we need to uh, reveal to the player, all the time that you're with him in the game is going to be our opportunity to sort of explore a relationship between the two brothers and uh, sort of like let that come to the forefront. What's it like having Nolan North and Troy Baker, who you'd worked with in the past on separate games, together in one place? It's uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, they they really know how to uh, play off each other. And, you know, there's sort of this imagined uh, quote-unquote rivalry between the two of them. But the fact of the fact that is, is, you know, they have a lot of res mutual respect for each other. And they're both really at the top of their games. So when we're able to uh, put the two of them together, you know, we've gotten some fantastic uh, work out of them. One of the things that we do uh, oftentimes is, you know, we will we will write scripts for our cinematics. We'll write scripts for the in-game sequences. And we'll have them do all the stuff that we write. But uh, oftentimes we will uh, also give them a chance to sort of just like riff off each other and and uh, see what they can come up with on their own. And uh, oftentimes, uh, some of that will make it into the game as well. So it's this really collaborative process. Uh, and you know, we always just, whatever is the best work is what we'll use. You guys have been innovators in performance capture as well. How do you feel this game is pushing things forward from everything you've learned over the years? Uh, well, one of the things that we're doing on this game that we hadn't done in previous games is that we are exploring uh, spatial capture. Uh, all the previous games, the uh, faces were animated by hand. Uh, and part of the reason for that is that when we were doing the first Uncharted and even the earlier games, uh, face capture technology really wasn't where it needed to be uh, for us to uh, want to use it. Like, too much work for not a good enough result. Uh, now it's gotten to the point where the face capture work uh, provides this really nice base layer for the animators to really dig in and add all this incredible fine detail. It's never been a case for us where we just take the face capture, drop it in, and call it done. There's always like more work to be done to really polish it up. But the nice thing is that the face capture gives us uh, something to start with so we can spend that much more time on the fine detail. And what's really important is that, you know, in this generation, the uh, detail in the face is so much greater than it was before that, you know, if it doesn't look right, it's not going to, it's going to take the player out of the experience and, like, make it seem like, well, what am I watching? So the more time we have to polish, the better. So the face capture gives us a good leg up. And you guys also are revealing a little bit more about what they're searching for in this game. Can you talk a little about that? Right. Well, so uh, what they're looking for, uh, as we've uh, discussed in the past, is uh, they are looking for the uh, lost treasure of uh, Henry Avery, who was a uh, fairly uh, notorious pirate back in his day. He's not as well known as, like, say, Blackbeard and some of the others, but the fact is he got away with the largest haul in uh, history uh, from a single fleet and then just vanished without a trace. Uh, nobody knows exactly what happened to him. So we're using that as kind of the jumping off point for the uh, story. And one of the other things that they mentioned in the uh, scene in the uh, demo is uh, Libertalia, which was this uh, mythical uh, pirate colony uh, somewhere far off the coast of Madagascar that was uh, set up as a sort of a, a pirate utopia, a sort of a libertarian socialist area where like all men were created equal and they pooled all their treasure together and shared resources. And uh, so we're using that as sort of like the, the the, the uh, destination that they want to get to where the uh, treasure has uh, been uh, hidden. What are the challenges of trying to one-up what you've already done in past games when you're sitting down to write something like this? Uh, one of the challenges is uh, obviously not to repeat ourselves. Uh, you know, we've always tried to find uh, new and exciting ways to do things. Uh, but really the uh, challenge is not only to show people something that they haven't shown before, but what we're really trying to do this game is to make sure all the uh, set pieces are based on our core mechanics of shooting, uh, climbing, running, or in you know, new case, uh, driving, the rope stuff, rather than it sort of being like a special case one-off thing that you never see again. It's more just like, how can we use the core mechanics to uh, really uh, draw the player into these like completely insane moments? But in terms of like topping ourselves everywhere else from a uh, story standpoint, you know, we're really trying to uh, dig even deeper into uh, Nathan Drake's like uh, emotional core and uh, 
because we're bringing his brother in, we're going to be seeing a side to him that we haven't necessarily seen before. So, and conflict between uh, characters uh, such as Elena that we haven't necessarily seen before. In between the games, like you know, in between Uncharted One and Uncharted Two, something happened. They had kind of a falling out, but then they sort of end up getting back together. But uh, this time, you know. Because Elena plays a part in the game, you'll actually be seeing her uh, reaction to uh, Drake's uh, reintroduction into the treasure life.